Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a table in Microsoft Access. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a table in Microsoft Access. So first, let me see the table design. So these are the field names, data types, and description. First, we are going to have a table called as employee and fields or employee ID, it will be a short text and primary key and followed by employee name it's going to be a long text and employee designation is going to be the lookup wizard in wizard we are going to have three options dean hud and staff and employee basic it will be of data type calculated if you select a dean it will be 900 dollars if you select hod it will be 800 dollars and if you select staff it will be 700 dollars and employee TA, the data type will be calculated and it will be 15%. That is 15 divided by 100 into employee basic. And HRA will be calculated, it will be 25%. So 25 divided by 100 into TA. And at salary, we are going to add everything employee basic plus TA plus HRA. And next increment date will be the data type will be date and time. The format will be short date. So in order to achieve the task, we should open Access. How to open Access? It's very simple. Go to Start. Look for the alphabet A, under A, where you can see Access. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to Start. Look for the alphabet A, under A, where you can see Access. Just click on the icon in order to open it. When you click on the icon, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. And in that, there are two types of databases. One is blank desktop database, other one is a custom web app. This is for web application and this is for desktop. So today we are going to use blank desktop database. When you click on blank desktop database, it will take you to a pop-up window where you want to give the table name. Let us say EMP. And if you wish to change the default location, here is the icon, just click the icon and specify the location where you want to change. So today I'm going to use the default location and then I'm going to click create. When you click create, it will take you to an ID where you'll be having all the tabs, toolbars and then work area. So now by default here you can able to see by default the table one will be there. So now what we have to do is we want to enter into design view. How to enter into design view or how to navigate into design view. The two ways one is right click on the table where you can see design view or else just go to view where you can see design view. Both are same. So use either of one. Now next step we want to give a table name let us say EMP then click OK. Now you can see the field name, data type and descriptions are there. So first followed by E underscore ID it will be of short text and where you can see this is called as primary key. What is the use of primary key? primary key eliminate the duplicate values so if you don't need right click and remove the primary key if you need the primary key again right click and click on primary key in order to insert the primary key and next field name will be e underscore name and it will be long text short text where you can see the field size will be 255 and long text it will store up to one gigabyte and next followed by e underscore basic so it will be of lookup just click the data type right here and navigate to lookup wizard when you click on lookup wizard it will generate a pop-up window where you can see two options this option if you are going to use the values from previous table use this option or else if you want to type the option use this one so just click here and next now i am going to type let us say select 
then followed by D then followed by HOD and then stuff so and press next so here you want to give out name you can give any name and then finish and next followed by E underscore basic so here it will be the calculator so just click on calculator when you click on calculator the expression builder window will open where you want to build the expression so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use if and expression will be e underscore basic equal to D so what we have to do is if it is a D how much you want to say we want to say nine hundred dollars or else if the condition fails again I'm going to use one more if I'm going to check E underscore design or desig is equal to HOD so if it is HOD so we want to assign $800 or else if the condition fails again I'm going to use one more if and I'm going to check E underscore basic equal to star so if it is so so I'm going to say $700 or else if this condition file that is a zero zero dollars and then close the expression okay and then check everything is okay so within double close okay this is HOD is okay eight hundred dollars and if everything is okay just click on okay in order to ensure it and next followed by E underscore G traveling albums so it's going to be calculated so what we are going to do is so it will be like 15 percent so how so 15 divided by 100 into E underscore basic So it's a 15 percent click OK and then E underscore HRE house rent albums it's going to be calculated and then it will be 25 percent so how you'll calculate 25 divided by 100 into basic E underscore basic and then click OK. Okay, just remove it again. Let it zero. So E underscore HR again calculated. So it would be like 25 percent. So 25 divided by 100 multiplied by E underscore basic. Click OK. And next it will be like. salary salary will be calculator so what we are going to do we are going to add e underscore basic plus e underscore ta plus e underscore hre click ok and next field will be next increment rate now data type will be date and time so in format you want to select 
short it and then after completing the, all the tasks if you have any description for your reference you can write the description right here or else just close the design view save it and just double click the table in order to open it now we can give the values let us say the employee id will be a101 and let us say employee name Kartik and the signation let us say b so automatically the basic everything will be calculated and next increment date let us say september something and a102 let us say yogesh any name you can use any name and then i'll give a value let us say hod and then next increment date see automatically this will be calculated when you click on the designation the basic will be automatically calculated if i change to staff it will change so now it will be actually let us say a103 and then give a name and then let us say staff and then automatically these things will be calculated and next increment rate will be put some rate and then a104 use any name and then it will be like hod or automatically generator give a date so this is how you want to use the calculated data type and this is how you want to design a table in microsoft access i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you